So my dad just mentioned this. Hey, Kev, a Junkyard Digs. Here's my project. 1990 Ford Bronco 2. I found it in Waterbury, Connecticut for $1,000. And it was too clean to pass up. I owned one when I was 16. And I've always wanted another one. And this truck was sitting in the guy's yard for about 14 to 15 years. The truck came with a 2.9 that's in it, which I guess the head was bad. And uh, it had a motor in the rear, in the back, with a transmission that was supposedly good, but the sack that sat there for 15 years, I wasn't really interested in it. Um, currently doing a Ford 8. Point eight rear axle out of a Ranger and a Dana 35 TTB front axle swap to it. It has a 1991 Ford Explorer 4.0 liter, which I did all the wiring. And uh, it currently runs, but as you can see, it's floating off the ground right now. But uh, the story behind these is this was my first kind of vehicle when I was 16. And I've always wanted another one. And uh, I live in the Northeast, so everything kind of tends to rot out. <laughs> so finding a 1990 Bronco 2, which my original one was an 87, but I guess beggars can't be choosers when you look for something that's as clean as this. I believe this truck was uh, something that was probably left at like a residence in Rhode Island and was drawing driven in the summer. This is the interior. Look at the door panels. I mean, they're incredible. Like, I, I really couldn't pass this truck up, like, no matter how much I wanted to, because I really didn't want to get into another project. I'm going into back surgery in about a month, so I'm trying to... My buddies are helping me as much as they can to try to get the truck kind of back on its tires, maybe, before I go into back surgery. But, I don't know. You guys were talking about revivals and saving something from the grave well this is kind of a weird rig and not many people appreciate them but let's face it they're a little better than a jeep wrangler and they're not i think they're better than a cherokee too to be honest with you because the wheelbase is like literally perfect they designed these things like perfect from the factory and they tend to be overrated because or underrated because of the motor the motor was crap in stock but I actually fixed that, put a better motor in it. It, it belongs to. And the goal is to drive this truck to Utah and uh, to do Hell's Revenge in it. That's kind of my goal. So we'll see if that happens. But obviously, two thousand dollars in seven bucks might help me a little bit. Well, keep that in mind. But this is weird. This is different, and it's also a blue oval Ford, which I think you respect, and that's a lot of reason why I watch your channel there. So. Hopefully, uh, I'll hear from you. And uh, I'll post more videos on this truck. My dog, Dozer, he's a fantastic garage dog. And my uh, old man, 73 Fastback, sitting there hanging out. But this is how we uh, do it in the middle of the Northeast in the wintertime. Usually, we just sit and drink beer by the stove and hopefully keep the garage above 50.